Hi and welcome to this tutorial sponsored by iTrack Wireless. This one's going to mainly focus on people who are first time for the first time programming this device. Okay, so here we have the iTrack, and what you should inside the box you may might look different from this, but inside the box you'll have the basics. Like this. That's so here you have is the power I/O cable. This one has a special connector. The long one is a GSM antenna. And this round puck, or you might receive a square puck GPS antenna. So these are the basics that you receive inside the box. You may have went on and gotten a 12 volt relay from us, which is an accessory, and a test box. Now this will come in handy because you would connect this right onto the box the iTrack device right now and you need a mini USB cable so get a mini USB cable and connect it to the iTrack device directly into the PC okay so now we're gonna go on and move ahead onto going into our control panel so you've connected the device to the PC and you also went ahead and went into our FTP site and downloaded the PL-2303 USB driver, installed it, and you're going to go into your control panel. And we're going to look for in your control panel is your hardware manager. So what I'm looking for, since I've already connected my device, is the COM port. Prolific USB to serial COM port, and it's on COM5. All right. And after I do that, I've located that, I'm going to go into the hybrid terminal. Now I'm using Windows XP, although despite it being in Chinese, but XP has a hybrid terminal, which you would look for in your communications folder, in your programs menu. But if you don't have it and you're using Vista, here, where is it? Here, if we down to communications, see a little telephone icon, that would be your hyper terminal. But if you're using Vista, what you're going to need to do is either download it or you can get it from us and we'll, we'll send you a copy of the Hyper Terminal Private Edition. So I'm going to go ahead and click, click on that and open up the program. Now when you're accessing it for the first time, it's going to ask you a bunch of uh, settings for your regional phone number and things like that. And then you'll get to this menu. So you can name it anything you want. For this demo purpose, I'm going to name it iTrack. Click on OK. I'm not going to pay attention to the top. I'm just going to go straight to the bottom, connect using COM5, click on OK. And here, the settings for COM5, I'm going to choose 4800. That would be the baud rate on the top. And on the bottom, flow control F. Doesn't matter what language you're using. It could be Spanish, English. It's the same shortcuts. And I would choose none. Click on apply, OK. But I'm not quite done yet. I'm going to go up to File, go to Properties, go to My Settings, click on ASCII Setup, check the top two, OK, click on OK again, and then I'm going to go into the device. So I'm going to start typing my command, and I'm going to look for the GPRS command. Here's my password with the hash sign, Enter. And I see it's not connecting. So I'm going to try it again. And GPRS, comma, one, two, three, four. Don't worry. Sometimes the USB just doesn't connect well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, first I'm going to disconnect right here. I'm going to unplug the power I.O. cable as well as the USB from the device. I'm going to plug back in the I.O. power cable right back into the iTrack and wait for the lights to come on there we go I got the lights coming on and I'm going to plug back in my mini USB cable alright next is I'm going to connect alright so we have the call and GPRS call 1234 hash sign and there we go. 
So sometimes you might get a, a bad connection on USB. It's okay. Or um, if you're not finding it on your control panel when you first go in there, what you can do is you can do what I just did right now. So our program, okay. So the the command that you see on the top, that's the get. Get the command and see what the settings are. Now I'm going to actually do the programming. So type in GPRS, comma, don't forget the password, one, two, three, four, comma again. I'm going to change it this time. My APN setting is internet, another comma, and here's the user, guest, and the password, use guest again, and then the hash sign. There we go. It's programmed in. That means it's been confirmed. Now, if you make a mistake, you cannot backspace. You have to type it all over again. And it's only one command per line. You cannot have two or three commands, multiple commands. You can only have one command at a time. All right. Well, take a look at your iTrack manual and happy programming. If you have any questions, come back to us at iTrackWireless.com. Thank you for watching.